Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Gemini. Gemini, how are you guys doing? A big thank you to each and every one of you guys for all of your love, patience, and support. Um, let's go ahead and get started on what's going on in your current energy. Welcome all of our new subscribers and your cross watchers as well. Let's see what's in the current energy for Gemini. Let's see you guys. Let's see what's in the current energy for Gemini. Gemini. What's in the current energy for Gemini? All right. We have here treasure. Okay. I feel like you're coming out of your shell lately. You've learned to forgive yourself and others around you for some wrongdoing just lately. And I see you more... Um, like you were in a hermit mode, just keeping to yourself and you're starting to com come out more a little bit right now, Gemini. Um, I also feel like there's this feeling of you feeling free, like freedom, um, just feeling more comfortable in your current situation. Um, You're, you come to situations through love and understanding for when you do forgiveness is easier to allow and take less time to process be kind and gentle to yourself through this process and give yourself some grace you may need to get forgive people for yourself more than once and again i see you um just in a more uh going with the flow vibe not that you were before but just a little bit more lighthearted, gemini um i also feel like sometimes you feel like there's too much going on so you're trying to redirect your energy um through different experiences um at times you will need to go out of your way to find um treasures you may need to get a, your hands dirty get a little less lost on the way Follow signs and consult maps. The journey alone is often worth it. Um, and don't forget that you are treasured. But all right, Gemini, let's continue on this current energy, current energy for Gemini. So you're forgiving, you're more lighthearted. Um, current energy for Gemini. Okay. been learning to ride the waves lately there's a stubborn energy as well someone's been cut out of your life i'm pretty sure it was you and it's it's not easy to sway your mind or your decisions once they're made so in your current energy i feel like your stability is first and you're very protective when it comes to your home um, your pets or your loved ones, you're very, very protective and also your finances. Where maybe as before you you didn't pay much attention to that, but right now I feel like you're in a very protective energy um, when it comes to your, to what you have, with your plans, things like that. You're really not saying much. Um, there's here a separation or some kind of breakup that still lingers in your energy. Yeah, this was someone whom you thought you would be able to celebrate certain things or certain uh, milestones that you've accomplished but they're not in your life i feel like they're not in your life physically but still around energetically um this person was very um seductive like used um sex as manipulation at times and even um i feel like part of the reason why there was a breakup was there were too many people involved um and it just caused the feelings to go away here to current energy. Okay, here we go. This this person really, really broke your heart or really broke some trust issues here. But I feel like, again, you're being very protective when it comes to you and what's yours and um, everything that you deserve. So I feel like you're keeping, you know, a sharp uh, eye. What did I say? A sharp eye on this, you know, keeping a close eye, sharp 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 words and um a close eye on this let's see what's the blockage for for gemini 
Like it's a now what? Now what? Is this happiness? Is now that I've kept this off and I've moved on from certain patterns or certain decisions, is this it? Um, defensive towards if people come around you with the same promises or any any stories you've heard before, you're very defensive on offers of um, working together and coming together. But I do feel like, is this it? Is this, you know, like, what did I learn from this situation? Um, how can I better myself? And then just, are you happy right now? Is this what I'm hearing? Like, is this, is this what I need to be happy? Um, so really staying away and like keep moving forward has been your focus lately. It's not a blockage, but really like keeping the past in the past where it belongs and you keep moving forward, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future, near future energy for Gemini. Yep, you're coming out. Uh, this hermit mode we talked about in the, in the beginning. So you'll be getting out of your shell letting go of burdens, feeling a little bit less stress, less um, feeling of obligations or pressure to be at a certain point in your life. Um, you're going to start manifesting and speaking more positively. Offers are going to start coming in for you and who knows, maybe a lover um, or higher level of commitment will also be coming into your life in the near future. This will be after um, completing this cycle of forgiveness and learning your lessons. Um, tell me more about what's coming towards Gemini in the near future. Yeah, Capricorn energy, just continue being in this lighthearted um, energy. Super important as you transition into this new phase of your life. Gemini, let's see what's coming towards you. Or let's see, what do the teal cards for you, have for you um, from this deck? Let's see. We have Hamza. May your Hamza hand bring you love, light, luck, and protection. You guys are truly protecting everything that you have um, with a lot of your energy, like a lot of energetic protection here for you guys. Um, let's see what we have here from our self-care cards for Gemini. Gemini self-care cards. What do we have here? <laughs> release you know this forgiveness card and releasing energy keeps coming up for you guys and it's beautiful sometimes the best way to grow is to simply let go and i see that you're in the process of that you might be a stargazer or you've been lately just enjoying some time out in nature grounding yourself more on the self-care card Ooh. all right we have priorities we have the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. We talked about this at the beginning of your reading. Make sure your schedule reflects the life that you want. And again, you, I feel like you're exploring more, you're getting out of your comfort zone and experiencing different things, which is great. And we have passion. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. So this is a time to really get to know yourself. What are you passionate about? Um, what do you want to learn? What do you want to do? And um, focus that all that positive energy into yourself. All right, let's see from our angels. What do we have for Gemini? From our angels, angels, what do we have for our beautiful Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Gemini energy within the next few weeks. The answer is no. The answer is yes. And peaceful resolution. So I feel like there's this yes, no energy. Yes, no energy, um, but no need to worry. Um, within the next few weeks, you're going to find out what this answer should be, but there's no need to worry. Um, and I almost want to say that the end of this year is coming up here soon. So. Um, no need to worry. Your worries and concerns regarding your questions are unnecessary. Your angels have the situation well in hand and everything is going to turn out perfectly. Obsessing over this subject isn't helpful. The energy of fear and worry only slows the eventual manifesting of your desires. Visualize loving and happy outcomes and keep your thoughts positive. Very soon you will wonder why you were worrying about this at all. So again, Gemini, this was your reading, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe. 
We would love to have you and we'll see you soon. Ciao.